What is up guys this is Karan here welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel talking about the Pixel extended room it's one of the stable custom rooms out there based on AOSP based on Pixel and it's based on Android version 10 which I have installed right now on my Redmi Note 9 Pro this build you can install it on Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, Poco M2 Pro or Redmi Note 9 S and also this is the official build which is available for a lot of devices you can install on Redmi Note 8, Redmi Note 7, Poco F1, Redmi K20 Pro a lot more devices. It's also available as Android 11 build right now so if your device is available as Android 11 build then you can install Android 11 build also but right now I'm using it in Android 10 base room and Android 10 is quite stable till now. Which other things you get in this Pixel extended room? I know that you are getting this that it does not come with any customizations but it's perfect in the terms of stability. Let's find out which other things you get there. So guys as you know that this one is Pixel extended room which is based on Android version 10 and this one extended version 1.0 which right now I've installed it on Redmi Note 9 Pro and you can see the September security patch and for some devices it's already updated so the link for all the official supported devices is in the description you can go and install it without any issues and it comes with a very few kind of customizations we already know about that but in the terms of stability it's quite great in the terms of smoothness it's quite good. I'm using for some time didn't got any issues in the terms of smoothness because it didn't got any lags even multitasking seems really nice so I can use whatever I want to use right now on my device also almost everything seems nice here. If I talk about the Redmi Note 9 Pro users I get the Google Camera Go Edition pre-installed so which is quite interesting that Gcam is pre-installed but it's a Go Edition room Go Edition camera so it has only portrait photo and video and don't have too many much kind of clarity by the way and some little bit of features you get here like this but yes you can use the normal gcam also and we have a lot of gcams available you can install them if you want to if you're using any other device it will support gcam also one of the best thing is it will support almost all the pixel apps i've tried and tested and almost all the pixel apps are working here you can see the google dialer here google contacts google messages these are the apps which get pre-installed so almost all pixel based apps are pre-installed you don't get the aosp apps this is kind of really interesting because aosp app does not look great in my opinion so it's also something interesting here talking about the thing about safety net status right now in my case safety net status is passed the best thing is i can use the banking apps without any issues i've not tried banking apps but yes you can see the safety net status is passed so yes there will be no issues for me so this is something really interesting and most of the devices have this thing perfectly fine that the safety net status will be passed for you also also it comes with a very cool kind of wallpaper pre-installed you can see the pixel extended wallpaper which is pre-installed and if you go here you have the pixel launcher pre-installed which has a little bit of features including some developer options also and these options are not for all the normal users because if you know what you're doing only then you have to try these kind of things otherwise else just leave them because these are some advanced kind of things so just leave them also if you go for the styles and wallpapers we have styles and wallpapers available you can choose it also includes a lot of pixel live wallpapers that has already shown you this as a pixel live wallpapers which you get pre-installed and these are some wallpapers which looks amazing you can see these are from the pixel device so that looks kind of really interesting here moving on to some settings and some features which you get here and it does not come with many cool kind of features as pre-installed but has a very cool and normal feature which you use in day-to-day -day life talking about the battery life i've not tested many times but i've used it from a long time on my redmi Note 8 gingo it's perfectly fine in the terms of battery backup it has very cool kind of things in the term of screen on time it has a very cool kind of battery drainage system and the background overnight it was just only one percent of drop for me i'm not sure about you but it's very interesting here we also have the adaptive battery option available here talking about the display options we have a little bit of things available here like the live display options available here screen timeout and some little bit of things available here and there but the theming is really great we have the ASIN color customizations primary color customizations fonts customizations icon shape customizations status bar icon and switch style 
these are some six customizations which were necessary which should be there and yes these are present so this is also kind of really interesting going for the asin color we have the one plus colors which i have applied right now we have a lot of colors customizations available so whichever asin color you like you can choose these you can also use the ubuntu asin color so if you choose the ubuntu colors like this you can choose the ubuntu colors also but i sometimes use one plus so that's why these are available here you can also customize the primary color you can choose the body fonts we have a lot of fonts options available here too so if you choose these kind of things you can choose them you can see we don't need to reboot our, reboot our device to apply fonts or any kind of theming available here we have the option to customize the stage bar icon and switch style also which includes the one plus narrow contain telegram mb2 and etc it does not have any useless features which sometimes view features get in resurrection remix resurrection remix contains a lot of features yes a lot but has some extra features also which are of no use as you already know about that other things include same kind of things no customizations if you go to the system we have just related things you can hide this navigation bar pill and hide the ime navi ime spacer also we have buttons related customization like advanced restart we have the device customizations which include the volti icon clock battery brightness and some little bit of quick settings customizations including android 11 style notification headers nothing else these were the things i just want to share with you i would recommend you to use this build if you want a full stable custom room for your device this is officially available for a lot of devices go and install this this is all from today's video i hope you like it if you like it don't forget to like and share this is all thanks for watching goodbye